the Lay's Loft today. Checking out everything. We were down in the area, so we figured we'd stop by and see what they got new here. And they got quite a bit to look at, so we are in the first of two acoustic rooms here. Steve's office over here. He's not here today. He's got some really cool stuff in there. I'll show you on the way out. Here's the strat we've seen at the guitar show down in uh, Columbus. These are all the Lays brand guitars that they build themselves. Cloth covered. Really cool inlays in the neck. How you doing? Good, how are you? Did you find something? Yeah, an Ebony Studio. I got one in black and one in gold. This one's only 1100, but the one that's got this chrome on it. It was fifteen hundred. I like the chrome better than the gold, actually. They did both you, got, huh? Did you see the amps I f covered for them? Yeah. Yeah. They're all First thing I up. seen when I walked up the stair. Yeah. There they are, all done. I do like the Ebony Studio with the chrome hardware. Well, this is what we're covering your base amp in. I'm going to cover it yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's nice. So that's what it looks like. Oh, we've got P90 gold here, Chris. Hold on, I want to see how these came out. See the price. Yeah, they look good. Uh, $2,400, that's not bad. Still got the plastic on it, it's new. Tone key. What do we got for two hours on there? I covered this one here too. Come on. It'll be a standard. They put a cream back in that. Or no, it's not a cream back. 70th anniversary. Here's all the nags. I like the relicking they did on these. PRS. There's a cloth colored PRS hiding in the back there. Some more nags. Really nice finishes on these. Look at that. I forgot, what's the name of this weird looking thing Trogley had? What are you looking at? That, here in the corners. Let's start with a T, I can't remember. Oh, there was one musician that had those specially made. Yeah, I don't remember what it yeah. was called. Trogley did it. If you guys want to see it, look at Trogley's video. <laughs> I, watched, I watched the video where they interviewed the guy, that the musician who was the one that had this design made up. No, there's no tag on it either. Well, they got a bunch of Rickenbackers now. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. For a Rickenbacker fan, there we go. We got a bunch of them this time here. It's a rarity to see here. This is a cool finish on these white ones. Yeah, I really admire the, the relic job they did on it. It looks very convincing. Mm -hmm. They got a left-handed... Uh, 56 here. It's hard to find a lift. Yeah, it's a conversion. Junior to standard, 21.9. Oh, they still have this uh, P90 here, Dad. Look, it's got the crown in it with the bound he headstock. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I like that one. We've got a gold top uh, P90 one right here. It's a standard. The Clusons on it. Still got the new sticker thing on it. Yeah, I'm making my way that way right now. I do like these 295s as well. You're not a big fan of the Florentine on it, but I do like the crown and the headstock and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here at Lay's, they got some really beautiful stuff. Not everything's always on the uh, website. But check this one out here. 57 to 59 conversion. Here's my old 76. Have you seen that one on the show? I kind of miss that, and I kind of don't. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I like this P90. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I can't believe I don't have one anymore. <laughs> I gotta get another one. Every time I get another guitar, it's a humbucker. All right, we got a couple more rooms to go through here. Check out that yellow guitar right there. Which one? On the left. This one? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was getting ready to hit this rack first. Let them check them out. Got two Carvels. A Jackson. I don't know what this thing is. It looks like it's got a bottle opener on the top of the headstock. <laughs> or you could hang it on the edge of your trailer while you're strapping down your load. Yeah, bottle opener would be handy, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm going with bottle opener. <laughs> and then there's their V's, so there's your typical factory satin V from Gibson. And then here is one from Lay's. I mean, they took the same guitar and they just cleared it, so it has that nice high gloss finish on it. I don't. The Gibson didn't offer that in a high gloss, did they? It was always flat. Yeah. Flat, yeah. Did you see the V2s? Mm -hmm. Those are cool. They this one's got brands. some really nice wood tones in it. They got some Lay's brands there with the raised Lay's lettering on the headstock on the Vs. Ones are towards the right. Yeah, yeah, we were looking at those last time. We'll take a look at those again. Steve was here with us. Let me check those out. I can't remember are those Karina. Yeah, these are Karina Vs that they made here. All four of these right there. Actually, five. Yeah. This one here. Oh, no, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Those four right here are Karina Vs that were made here at the Lay's as well. And we'll check out their guitar one more time. Here's an Explorer that Lay's built. Pale and blue. You got it, uh, another one here, Explorer. I don't, this one's not a Karina. Oh, it actually it is. Look at that. 58 Karina spec. Looks different than those ones. It's got a much darker tone to it. And then we got another one over here, Karina spec, 58. This one looks like it's been aged. Really nice job. And then we got piles of amps here. Morgan amps. Tone King. This Victory is just sitting here powered on on standby. here we got a whole bunch of fender strats so there's one that's got a pretty laid out neck on it check that out flame top or that's not flame I quilted misspoke there quilted top nice telly here with the quilted top gold hardware strap behind it with a quilted top and I got some really nice stuff here what is this dual sonic 93 
That's pretty cool. Little uh, offset, weird shaped guitar, two pickups. Got a stretch here. Which looks kind of like a, it looks black here on film, but it's really kind of like a green gray color. Pretty neat. Some Ibanez's. Oh, what do we got up here? Some more Ibanez. Friedman. Relic. Gibson bass. Find anything cool back here? Yeah, there's a Fender uh, concert amp. An old original one, and um, there's a. You got your reverb. hand on a blonde baseman. I'll take this one right here. Yeah. Look at the price on that. Thirteen hundred bucks for the yeah. whole thing. Six tens. Yep. And a foot switch for thirteen. Brand new, and it's tube. That is kick ass. I will take this in a heartbeat. Yeah, that's that's a slick piece of equipment. <laughs> thirteen hundred bucks. And six tens. The head, speaker cabinet. Yeah, we might have to talk to him about that on the yeah. way out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it's a tube. Yep. Yeah, that thing is kick ass. It's got the blonde. You know, you know that'll fit in the back of the car right now. Yeah, a blonde. But color. I really want this Mesa Boogie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice too. It's collecting some dust. It's wanting to go home. Mesa Boogie, Mesa Boogie. How do you say it? Mesa Boogie, I think. Yeah, this one. That one wants to come home, yeah, but this one wants to come home. This one home. wants to come home with me. It's been wanting to come home. It's starting to get the right amount of dust on it where Steve might work with me on it. Is it got a 15 inch speaker in it? No, it's got a 12. The Celestian. It's a G12K100, so it's a 100 watt. Why do I keep ending up with all these 10 inch speaker cabs and stuff? I don't know, but I'm drawn to the single 12s. I like the single 12s. But I keep ending up with all these 10s. Yeah. Well, the 10s are good. Remember my little champ? That one I covered in cloth and sold? That thing was kick ass. Mm -hmm. I, I still want me a hot rod De, uh, DeVille right. with, with two 12s to match my 410. Right. So I can have a clean with the two 12s and then a, a dirty with the 410. Right. I, this was what, sweet. Which Fishman's do we have? We have the Minis. The Minis? Yeah. This so is say that one's got a lot of. This, that's about a five hundred dollar amp right there. That's, that's an. Yeah, I think they went six fifty. Oh, six fifty. Yeah, six fifty. Yeah. They're expensive. The little ones we got are three hundred fifty bucks used. So. Yeah, this has got what Bluetooth? It's uh, Bluetooth and everything on it. These are good amps. Yeah, they are. I was extremely impressed with it when we fired it up. Yeah, the little mini's really put out. Really went nice. What else they got over here? Some more Kramers. Fender Telly with a leather pick guard that's different. Yamaha. I have no idea what this thing is. Yamaha Pacific or something like that. Pacifica. That must be an Epiphone Wildcat. Yeah. There's something called it a holiday. And it's 400 bucks. Bolt on neck, definitely old, what is that, 66? There you go, funky snake thingy. I always kind of like this Ibanez here, the one yeah. with the handle that so you can throw it out in the woods when you're done looking at it. <laughs> Look at this, a Digitech RP1, $75. You're building yourself a board. I like analog pedals and stuff. If you build yourself a board, you can run everything into here. Instead of having to keep going back and forth on all the other stuff. Right. Run back here is their photography. Yeah, a bunch of amps. That's where you'll find your super reverb. Yeah. And go back there. Yeah. And then you got the concert. It's oh, on yeah, the they, far side. I forgot that. You got a beautiful concert amp. Those are hard to find. Yeah, that super reverb is nice. Got a mess of cab with a big, huge fender. Nice champ. We, I like the lacquer on this, this mm -hmm. vintage lacquer, that, that looks really good. Another messer right there. What is Tweed. this? This is one of their builds? Yeah, it's one of their builds. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. They got an orange amp back. What's the... Uh, I like orange amps, but I don't like whoa. the way they got their knobs going. They got confused there. 
I got a free minute. concert. See that concert? It's hard to see in here. Let me see if I can. I don't know how to turn the light on on my gimbal right now. I'm sorry, guys. I don't see a light switch. Concert here. amp. Yeah, 3,600 bucks. Man, I wish I could uh, turn my light on on this thing. Sure. Let's see if this works. There you go. And Dad said, let there be light. We got to see this concert amp. That is a nice amp. 1962. Those are hard to find. Yeah, this thing is nice. And it's got the, the tan uh, Tolex on there. Yeah, that's beautiful. Then it's we got, not all beat up. Then we got a Bandmaster head right here. Yeah, those aren't so rare though. I see those all the time, to be honest with you. You got this, right? Blues Junior, single 10? Oh yeah. Mine's the 95th, 95th anniversary. Yeah. Or 50th anniversary. Yeah, 50th anniversary. That's a 94, 95. 95. 95 yeah, people harass us on that when we say that because... But 1996 is actually the anniversary, and it's just an early run. Right. That's why it says 95. But it's the anniversary of Fender, not yeah. Strat or yeah. the amplifier. And I, I always get flack over that, but... Yeah. 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 So... Oh, is that the PRI? Oh, no, that's another Morgan they got stashed away there. Oh, down here? No, up here. They got some oh, Morgan oh, heads out here. MVP. Mm-hmm. Morgan. 66. Little Squire they're working on. I do want this one. Which one? Oh, yeah, we'll talk to them on the way out. That is slick. I still want to get <clears throat> my uh, gold top bases. I need to get the semi hollow and the, the solid body. Les Paul base. Yeah. Yeah. Ebony. Yeah, you want an ebony. I want the gold ones. Get a solid body ebony and you get the hollow body gold. I, I want one of each. Well, if you get the solid one, the solid body, get it in ebony. Have you heard any of these Morgans yet? Nope. Me neither. I've watched the, the videos. I got an M MVP 66 and a dual 20. I'm going to have to uh, look those up when I get home because they be look like nice. they're really nice. I've watched YouTube videos on them. They're supposed to sound pretty good. They always have some really nice goodies hiding here. Now, I can't remember if those are made in Canada, the Morgans. I can't remember. All right. I'm kind of irritated. <laughs> I've been wanting this guitar right here for a long time, and every time I see it, it has hold on it. But I mean, it's been like a year or more, so I gotta talk to Steve and find out what's going on with this, because I want this guitar. 2013 62 Custom Shop, you know, reissue. It's a paint over, so it's, you know, yeah. white over red. I like the way the emblem is got the yeah. Like yeah. Exactly. I want this guitar really bad. It's got the the perfect wear on it. I mean this this is what I would consider a replacement for my strat. You know what I mean? Custom shop yeah. sticker. Yeah, I, I I want that guitar. Look at the patina on the tuners. I know, it's just perfect. They did a really good job on it. And I don't get excited about fenders. <laughs> Every time I come here, this one's calling my name and it's got a, a hold sticker on it. I like them so. all. Well, it's like when we came here, remember how we ended up with the copper studio that you ended up buying? Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, you bought something else. Yeah, I bought something else, but every time we came here, it was like, oh, that talked to us, you know, it spoke to both of us. This one's got me every single time that I've come here, and mm -hmm. I gotta figure out how to go home with that. <laughs> All right, one last walk through. Take a look at their guitars one more time here. I gotta get used to this gimbal, my lord. You gotta set the, the trigger. If you push right, it goes left, and just you know, just the opposite of what you want to do. So I gotta set that up. Anyhow, these are all cloth covered. Here it lays. They make the bodies, the necks, everything's done by hand. So check these out on their website. 
Blackberry Smoke plays a lot of their stuff. This whole top rack is all these. And that's the strat that was at the Columbus show. We'll just do one last swoop here of the amps I covered. And we'll call it a day here. You ready to go do some uh, wheeling and dealing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, that's it, guys. We'll uh, catch up again. We got, what, three or four guitars we got to bring back down, drop off at the uh, Canton factory mm -hmm. for uh, some finished work and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe.